Berlin, July 2010. The construction of the new Greek embassy has started. An open yard in the city center, Tiergarten. A positive representation of what Germany and Greece can now do after the recent political tensions and misunderstandings. Athens, Greece, the motherland of democracy, a mixture of past and future, of backwardness and modernity. We met Hans-Peter Hoffmann, the head of the press office in the German embassy in Athens. It is still very easy to fall back onto national stereotypes if something goes wrong. If you look at what went wrong, it's, it's very difficult to describe because we, um, we had the, the elections in, in autumn last year. We had a correction of the figures for the Greek budget deficit immediately after. Um, we, we, we knew that, that most of the, of the data were, say, there, there was a large margin of error attached to each of these figures. Um, it, it is certainly wrong to, to say that, that Greece cheated its way into the European, into the Euro group, um, because at the time when we defined the criteria, um, everything was under full discussion. And you have to be honest and say it was, it was a political union before it was a monetary union. It was clear from the outset, economically speaking, that this was not a Greek problem but a European problem. This is not about saving Greece, this is about saving the Euro. The focus article was mostly for domestic consumption. This was not Germany versus Greek, this was Germany, Germany against Germans. That was, a, say, an attempt to try to, to force the government to come up with very good arguments. We came up with arguments, um, but you have to argue on, on different levels. You have to argue um, with, with, you have to find arguments for the head and you have to find arguments, say, for the belly. And the, the argument for the belly is Incredibly simple. It is a fact that if Greece is not well economically, sooner or later Germany will not be well. Every euro that we spend on helping to shore up these economies will be returned to our economy in the end. This is Antonis Antoniadis, a former officer of the Greek Chamber of Commerce. We had a conversation in the Hilton Hotel, where the economical crisis and the political troubles of Greece seem to be so far away. What do you think about Angela Merkel? What she has done lately, I have a sort of understanding. Mm. It was all for internal consumption. And it has been proved correct, my feeling, because look, in Germany they have a new president. Merkel was, in fact, half thrown out by her own people. You cannot govern economy by laws or by... You have to set only the framework of a good, uncorrupted framework of economy and leave the people in free it was a place. Angela Merkel was okay for her own country. The Germans decided that she gave what she has to give, and then off we go, we change. It seems to me that on purpose the governing uh, bodies or whatever of the countries, they don't care very much in educating their own citizens. Media, yes, it's their job, they should educate people, but unfortunately, as they are organized with the advertising and things like that, media think about their own good, their own profit, 
they could care less. And the only good thing recently is the so-called uh, um, internet. There is the only source that you can have really uh, facts.